Hi everyone, Babygate continues. Fred Nicholas here. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the importance of exercise. Now I have to tell you that, that I, I see some things that are very troubling to me. You've heard some things I know we all have about where are some of our younger folks going when it comes to exercise, health, fitness in general. And one of the things I hear quite a bit today is a lot of young people are, are suffering from inactivity, are suffering from obesity. You know, we hear stories about childhood diabetes on the rise. I'm even hearing stories about 12 and 13 year olds that are suffering from the onset of heart disease. Are you kidding me? 13 year olds, 12 year olds suffering from heart disease. There's a real easy cure, and I think it's this. We're created to move, and if we move, we leave this side of the baby gate. We take away the obstacle that says, you know what, movement is tough, I don't know that I can do it, I don't know that I'll do it right, so we put all of these self-limiting beliefs in our minds on this side of the baby gate, when in effect, we should be moving to the other side. The other side of the baby gate, when it comes to young people and health, is, you know what, I want to be strong and healthy. As a matter of fact, when I go into physical education classes in my town, I ask every group that I go, go into, I say, kids, how many of you guys would like to be stronger and healthier? And guess what? Every hand in the place shoots up. But as I look around the group, I can see that there are oftentimes as many as 25, 30%, maybe more of the kids that aren't healthy at all. And the answer is pretty simple. The answer is over here on this side of the baby gate. We need to help educate children about why it's important to move. I remember as a young man, when I was at home and it was a weekend or it was a nice day or it was summer, my mom would say, look, it's a nice day, get outside. I don't care what you do, but get outside and move. Now, how many young people are doing that anymore? We live next to a park in La Crosse, and in the summer, oftentimes, there are no kids in the park. It's a beautiful park. Kids should be out there playing, in my mind. But again, this is part of the philosophy that I feel that we need to have on this side of the gate. It's easy to teach kids about fitness. But again, it's not that children don't want to be healthy and strong. It's that they need to be taught how to be. Here's a couple things that I think are important when working with kids. It's very important that they don't compare themselves to others. Why? Because there's always somebody better than you. And if you don't take care of yourself and what you're able to do, it's not going to work out too well. Because it's usually in those cases, of both with children and adults, that if you're always watching everybody else, first of all, you're not concerned about how well you can do. You're not focused on how well you can do. And the other thing is that you just can't compete with everybody. The other is, you know what? You're going to screw up sometime. And it's okay. How many times have you seen people make a mistake and beat themselves up? I mean, literally, beat themselves up. They tell themselves, I can't do it, I won't be able to, and again, that's the other side of the gate. We want to be on this side of the gate, where we're not worried about all that stuff. It's okay, just let yourself go. One of the neatest things about working with really, really young kids, two and three and four year olds, they don't have those fears. They haven't had them hammered into their heads yet that you have to worry about how you look, and you can't make mistakes. What a lot of junk. Why would we put that kind of thought into a young person's head? So for us as adults and for older kids, if we want to really get to the place that we want to go, we should remember what it was like when we were two, three, and four-year-olds. Because we still have that in us. It's still there, but we need to dig in, and we need to pull it out. So here's some thoughts. Change is good. Strength is good. Being healthy is good. If you'd like to learn more about some ideas on strength and health and feeling good, be sure to visit CombatEnduranceTraining.com or the 9MinuteWorkout.com. Remember, tonight is a big night. It's the night for Paul Halter, my fishing friend, and he's going to go over some great things. So make sure that you stop in and visit us. Also, one more thing. Tell us about how you like these videos. We want to hear. Thanks so much. We'll see you again.